For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the ideal masters. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. I will place my name with you, and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Do me this simple honor, and I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally, and teach you my Thum. Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. I don't require an answer, Quinarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. There was a time when I called Tamriel my home. But those days have long since passed. The Dova roamed the skies, vying for their small slices of territory that resulted in immense and ultimately fatal battles. I was, but unlike some of my brethren, I sought solutions outside the norm in order to maintain my superiority. I began to explore what the Dova call Elok Dilan, the ancient forbidden art that you call necromancy. The ideal masters assured me that my powers would be unmatched, that I could raise legions of the undead. In return, I was to serve them as a keeper until the death of the one who calls herself Valerica. I discovered too late that the Ideal Masters favor deception over honor and had no intention of releasing me from my binding. They had control of my mind, but fortunately they couldn't possess my soul. Free? No. I have been here too long, Quanarin. The Soul Cairn has become a part of what I am. I can never fully call Tamriel my home again, or I would surely perish. I only hope that you will allow me the precious moments of time there through your call. It is probably around some time before Alduin was defeated using Dragonrend and an Elder Scroll. Yeah. Need another Dragon Soul in order to summon Dernavir. Right. We've got that Elder Scroll. You defeated the Reaper. All you need to do now is to find a page. Searching for elves. Um, including there. Yeah, Black Fit Finger, we know. In order to find one of those, we need to head back to Tamriel, as that's where they're attacking. But before we can head there, 
we need to find a page for St. Jib's book. Try the other side of this. That's probably where it is. Look, it is there. have the dense type of... Oh, forget it, just... Find a staircase along this! That's usually how you get into these buildings. Oh, like this one. There's the last page. Where'd you come from? Now there's something to kill! Well, technically, they're dead to begin with. Good. Now it's turned to St. Jib. Yeah. There's of course a scroll that needs reading. Ah, there he is. You did it. You have all of my pages. Finally. I never thought I'd see this again. These pages meant the world to me. Thank you. Now volume two begins. What else? Here, I, I want you to have these before you go. A pristine copy of my first volume. Only one in print, actually. And take this as well. Seeing as St. Jib has ascended to pure spiritual form, I won't need it any longer. I put that locket on. You'll be able to carry more, and fight harder for longer. And that's for his book. I expect it's quite valuable. Well, you haven't found this in tombs, never mind in shops. Right, back at the portal. Let's get the out of this dump. And the sooner we get the scroll home, the sooner we deal with my father. What is it? I can't say it surprises me. I kind of figured we were heading for this someday. I just didn't know when. If. I've been assuming that's where all this is going. I've been trying to make my peace with it. Come on, we can talk about this another time. I trust your journey was successful. I'm 
I'm sorry, my friend. I can no longer be of use in this matter. It's my fault. In my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the careful preparation required. I thought I'd be able to allay the after-effects, but I was wrong. Now I am paying for it. Blind? Yes, I'm afraid so. No, it will have to run its course, and there's always the chance I may never recover. No, there is another way. The question is, how much are you willing to risk to find Oriole's bow? I can't guarantee you'd be free from harm. Becoming blind could be the least of your worries. Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim, in the Pine Forest. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn attract Ancestor Moths to you. Once enough of the Moths are following, They'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade, an implement known as a draw knife. Every moth priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. Sadly, yes. It is the inevitable fate we agree to pursue when reading the Elder Scrolls. It generally does not occur until a moth priest is in his latter years, but in my case, I simply was not preparing myself properly. Deciphering one of the Elder Scrolls is nothing like reading a simple book. There is quite a bit of ritual and concentration required. It can take months or even years to complete a single scroll, and even then, months to recover. Well, as I'm sure you figured out by now, it's no mere coincidence that we're named Moth Priests. The voice of the Ancestor Moth has always been an integral part of reading the Elder Scrolls. Oh, the Moths don't literally read the scrolls, but they maintain a connection to ancient magic that allows the Moth Priests to decipher them. If you listen closely when you find the Glade, you should be able to hear their song. A soft, harmonious trilling. It's through this ancestral chorus that the moths tap into a form of primal augur and become a conduit for deciphering the scrolls. By having the ancestor moths close to the moth priest, they can utilize the conduit and share the moth's augury. Only the most resilient of priests can do it this way. It takes years of practice to interpret the harmony. You've come this far, and you've found several Elder Scrolls. Whether you believe it or not, the Scrolls have a mind of their own. If they did not want you to find them, they would not allow it. Because of this, I strongly believe you were meant to hear the Ancestral Chorus. Only one way to find out. Good luck. I hope you find the answers you seek. I hope we reach Ancestor Glade soon. It's so bright out here. Yeah, you're here. right. I don't know how you Enhancing Zorngarth's combat capabilities is more urgent than reading those Elder Scrolls.